Hello everybody, welcome to Devotions with Stoney. I am excited to tell you, we are back. We are back again. We've been gone for a few weeks and a lot of people have been saying, Hey, Stoney, where have you been? Where have all these devotions been? Well, we're back. Uh, we've been going through a lot in the past few weeks, dealing with a lot of stuff, taking care of a lot of things, been so busy. And, you know, I felt I was like, July the 1st would be a great day to restart the devotions and just power them through the year. It's the seventh month of the year. It's the beginning of the second half of the year or the second six months, set of six months of the year. So it's a new beginning. It's a great beginning. And I am grateful to the Lord Jesus Christ that he has given me this opportunity to reach you where you are. And I've got good news for you, okay? Now we won't be doing our daily devotions from Monday to Saturday. We'll be doing Tuesday and Thursday devotions. So they're gonna be devotions on Tuesdays and Thursdays of every week. So that helps me to make sure I have content to put out to you in the form of devotions. However, there's a new addition. We're going to be walking through the Bible in a year. So on this channel, on the Stony Kalango Ministries channel, and on the It's All About Jesus Facebook page, we will be going through the entire scripture. So I'm going to be reading the Word of God from Genesis chapter 1 to Revelations. And we're going to go through the entire Bible in the space of a year. So there is going to be a Bible reading from me every single day to bless you, to strengthen your walk with Christ. And I thought that was something that we could work in. But I'm glad that you are listening to me today. And I praise God for you, my friends. What is most important is what your faith in Jesus Christ is like. So I would like to ask you, how is your faith in Jesus? Are you going strong in the Lord? Are you faithful to Him and His Word? Do you love Him more than you've ever loved Him? Is your heart on fire for the Lord? Well, if your answer to that is yes, congratulations. And if your answer to that is no, it's just been rocky. Well, it's time to gear up. And it's time to say, Lord, I will chase you more than I have ever chased you before. The devotion today, July the 1st, a Thursday, is titled, Trust in the Lord. It's a simple devotion, but one I believe that is necessary for your walk in the Lord in the last six months of the year or in the second half of the year. We know the scripture, Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. You see, this is one scripture that we as Christians sometimes just read through and we're like, oh, you know what, that's a scripture stuck in my head. and It's one I have memorized and so, you know, I don't need to dwell on it. But for today, I want us to dwell on this verse. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Not some of your heart, not partially, all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. The New King James says it this way, do not lean on your own understanding. You see, there is a way we like to think, and then there is the way God thinks. So a lot of times it could be different. Our understanding is short-sighted. Our understanding has limitations to it. We, we are emotional creatures. We respond to stimuli. We res whether, whether the emotion is physical or spiritual or emotional or psychological, we respond to the actions and things that happen in our lives. And what happens is our understanding a lot of the times is based on what we are experiencing. But we have a God that exists beyond those realities. And he says to us, I don't want you to depend on your own understanding. Because when you depend on your own understanding, you make poor choices. You make poor decisions. You go down the wrong path. What do you need to do then? Don't lean on your own wisdom. 
Don't, don't rely completely on your own understanding. Why? Because there is a better source of wisdom that you can rely on. There is a better source of understanding that you can rely on. And that is the wisdom that comes from heaven. That is divine wisdom. That's the heavenly wisdom. My friends, I endear you. I encourage you in these last six months of the year. I encourage you to not depend on your own wisdom. To not depend on your own understanding. To not depend on how you always want to get things done. How you always want to do things. Rather, depend on the Lord. So you ask yourself when you have a situation in front of you, what does God think about this? What does God want me to do? What would God want me to do in this situation? You look up to the heavens and you say, God, speak in my ears today. Order my steps today. The Bible says the steps of a righteous man are ordered by the Lord. So, are you going to lean on your own understanding or are you going to lean on God's understanding? Are you going to lean on your own wisdom or what you think is right for the year? Or are you going to lean on what God thinks is right for you? Are you going to follow your own vision for your life and your destiny? Or are you going to follow God's vision for your life and destiny? Do not lean on your own understanding. Verse 6, reading from the New Living Translation, says, Seek His will in all you do. Seek God's will in all that you do. And He will show you which path to take. Hmm. Not my will, Lord, but your will be done. Not my will, God, but your will be done in my life. Verse 7 says, do not be impressed with your own wisdom. I know how many times I'm impressed by my own wisdom. I know how many times I think, oh, I can rely. I think I've got this right. And you know, my wife actually in so many ways, so many amazing ways, lets me know not as easy and smart as you think if my wife who is a human being just like me can correct me at times and she's actually right a lot of the times how about God how about the Lord your God how much wiser is he I mean, there's no even comparison here right exactly don't be impressed with your own wisdom instead fear the Lord and turn away from evil because our own understanding has a tendency to lead us down the wrong path but understanding God and what he wants for us and from us bullseye success every time bullseye it's a hit every time bullseye if you depend on your own understanding you will crash and burn. If you depend on God's understanding, you will succeed. This is Stoney saying, do not lean on your own understanding. Rather, trust in the Lord and He will show you which way to go. God bless you for watching today's devotion. Next week, Tuesday, we'll be releasing the next episode of this devotion. Every Tuesday and Thursday, tune in on YouTube, on Facebook, on Apple, Spotify, podcast, and be blessed. Now, I'll see you then. God bless you, my friends.